the war in Jacksonville cooled off for a little while. But now two rappers have been shot back to back and it looks like a whole new wave of violence is going to shock the city all over again. Jake Jit was trying to make it out of the streets with his music, but he was brutally killed before he got the chance and today we're breaking down why the ops wanted him gone so badly. On August 16th, a Jacksonville rapper named Jake Jit was shot and killed on the highway in his hometown. He was driving his whip through Duval County when a shooter rolled up on him and started letting off shots. Jake tried to drive off and escape, but that's when he crashed into a semi-truck parked on the side of the road and destroyed his car. It's not clear if Jake was actually hit by the ops or if the crash is what killed him, but either way, he tragically lost his life at just 18 years old. Jake had been rapping for a few years, but he just dropped his debut mixtape a couple of weeks before his death. It was another major loss for the Jacksonville rap scene, but the violence might just be getting started. Jake rapped Wog and Bully Gang, which are both affiliated with Fulio's KTA crew. And to understand why Jake was killed and Jacksonville is turning into a war zone again, we gotta take it back to one of the most brutal murders in the city. A few months ago, Fulio, Jake Jit, and a bunch of their homies posed in front of the grave of a dude named Royale Devon Smith Jr., aka 2-3. 2-3 was real tight with Young and Ace, and back in 2018, he was murdered right next to him. Ace, his brother, and two homies went out one night to celebrate 2-3's birthday. He knew that they wasn't supposed to be moving like that since they were all active in the streets. But they made one mistake that night, and it had tragic consequences. When they left the spot that night, a shooter pulled up next to him and started letting off shots. Ace got hit eight times and somehow still made it out alive, but he was the only survivor. Everyone else in the car got killed, including 2-3. It was one of the worst gang shootings in Jacksonville history, and Ace's ops didn't hesitate to clown him over it. Jake Jit's homie Fulio dropped a track When I See You in 2021 and rapped Ace from the West, how he clicked up with the East Side. He ain't been the same since he seen the other three die. Bitch, I'm 2-3 high. Bitch, say your goodbye. Get that boy to business like a suit and a bow tie. Light them boys block up like the 4th of July. They got caught lacking, the whole world wanna know why. Jake was cool with Fulio, but he was even closer with the rapper named K Shorty. And one of the first times most people heard Jake rap was on K Shorty's track, Fuck the Ops. He dissed 2-3 on the hook and rapped, This shit gotta stop. Mention Lil Bibs, next thing you know he blazing. We'll spin a nigga lot. Got 4Ks, 2 or 3 Glocks. Niggas playing wrong, got his shit stopped. What's the point of sliding if ain't shit dropped? K Shorty dissed 2 3 and some other ops on the same track with the line Ride folk deep under 2% tent. So you know who I'm with, you can't see in this car. Hopping on feet, Lil Shug try to get with that fence. I heard he got hit with that Glock. Smoking on Michi and Leaky, they speaking on Tiki. I'm rolling 2 3 in my guard. Wapa with the Chopper is another Jacksonville rapper who's tight with Young and Ace. They actually met after Ace and Chopper's brother spin the band started playing Call of Duty online together and realized they had a lot of the same homies. Wapa and Spin the Bands were both on the infamous diss track Who I Smoke, and Wapa wasn't cool with Jake Jit hopping into the beef when he was featured on the track Fuck the Ops. He clapped back with a song called Rap and said, Who the fuck is Jake Jit? We don't know, just another name gonna be added to the scope. While Jake and his homies were putting pressure on the ops and sending shots back and forth, there was some tension in their own crew too. K Shorty and Fulio are from the same area of Jacksonville and was always cool with each other. K Shorty wasn't even trying to rap back in the day and was only focused on the streets. But after he got shot in the leg and ended up in jail on a weapons charge, K Shorty decided to hop in the booth. He claims that Fulio started name dropping without permission and told Shorty that he would help him kick off his rap career. But when Shorty came home, he says that Fulio never did what he said he would do for him. What made the situation even worse was when their friend Bibby got killed. K Shorty and Bibby was real close back in the day and even lived together for a while. But when Shorty went down on the weapon case, Bibby started chilling with Fulio all the time. K Shorty tried to warn Bibby that moving around like that with Fulio was a bad idea because of all the enemies Fulio was making in the streets. But unfortunately, Bibby didn't listen and he ended up getting chipped. In February 2019, he was chilling outside when a shooter came out of nowhere and caught him. Shorty blamed Fulio for Bibby's death, and on the track Who Really Killing, he said, Had to realize niggas out here dying and the rest doing time while Fulio chilling. Niggas stay lying. About studio time, he ain't even drop a dime when a nigga was drilling. He was round the block when Bibby had died. He ain't getting no car, he just got in his feelings. Jake Jit didn't get between his homies, and Fulio clapped back at Shorty for getting his girlfriend killed. Back in 2020, Shorty went on a date with a girl named Anande Weish. After it was over, she dropped him off at his place and tried to leave, but that's when two shooters rolled up and started letting off shots. Shorty allegedly took out a dude named Daquan Rache Saxton two days earlier, and the ops ended up killing Weish instead of him. Fulio aired him out over the situation on the unreleased track and rapped, and you got shot so many times they say you target practice, 
You got that little girl killed. Man, that shit tragic. You say I ran on Osama? I was nowhere near. Pop out left my little brother. Get that shit clear. It sounded like Fulio and K Shorty might start beefing for real, and their homies like Jake Jit would have to pick a side. But in August 2021, Shorty said there wasn't any real issues with Fulio and that he just thought Fulio could be doing more for his people. At the same time, Shorty said he was trying to make it out of the streets and get out of Jacksonville. But then he caught a weapons charge that ended up getting him sentenced to 12 years. Jake Jit posted about how much he was missing K Shorty after he got locked up. Shorty's homies and fans was all hoping he beat the case. But even if he beat the gun charge, he's still facing a murder trial for the death of a dude named No Face. No Face was riding around the city with spin the bands and a dude named Greenlight back in September 2021 when someone caught him and started shooting. No Face got shot in the head and died, and now K Shorty could end up with a life sentence over it. It's not clear if Jake Jit was involved with any of Shorty's cases, but his death could be related to a bunch of new situations that's been going down in Jacksonville this year. Back in May, an alleged bully gang affiliate was shot and killed. Then four days later, the ops slid on his memorial and started letting off shots again. Luckily, nobody else died but a woman did catch a bullet in the arm. According to rumors, some dudes from NHG were responsible for both shootings. NHG is like an umbrella that a lot of different sets fall under, including Ace's ATK crew and other sets like 1200. A few days after the memorial shooting, some bully gang affiliates allegedly clapped back and shot up the house where a few NHG members lived but didn't hit anyone. Then just a few weeks later, Jake Jit got caught on the highway and didn't make it out alive. The ops started clowning him immediately after it went down, and some NHG affiliates even used a picture of Jake's red car as the cover for their track fully down. Another one posted a photo that Jake and the others took at 2-3's grave and wrote, the biggest mistake anyone on earth could have did. Then Wapa with the chopper joined in too and clowned Jake on Instagram Live. Jake's homies allegedly clapped back immediately though, and one day later, a dude from 1200 named Lil Kobe was shot at a local park. According to reports, Kobe was on the block right next to where some kids were having football practice when a shooter rolled up on them. Kids and parents scattered and started screaming when the shots went off, but luckily none of the football players or their families were hit. Look, Kobe was shot once in the chest and rushed to the hospital in serious condition, and right now it's not clear if he managed to pull through or not. The war in Jacksonville was all over the news back around 2021 after Young and Ace and Fulio started dropping some of the wildest diss tracks in the game. The city ain't been in the spotlight as much recently, but obviously the streets never took a break. And now it's looking like the beef is about to reach another level.